To make a comparison of YouTube and social media to elementary school playgrounds, the right or the alt-right or the anti-SJWs or the free speech warriors tend to actually be playground bullies or they support playground bullies, and the left tends to actually be tattletales or they support tattletales. You're never going to change that dichotomy. As adults, you know, adults, where most people have moved past bullying in their daily offline lives, yeah, renaming bullying online as comedy doesn't change its nature. It's still bullying. And yes, people who aren't good at bullying still do what they did in elementary school to combat bullying. It's all about becoming a tattletale and trying to do everything you can to make the rules punish the bullies. In the case of what's going on lately, though, of supposed adults, is some of these people are trying to completely ruin people's lives. Now, thankfully, this is only a, a small few that are doing this, but they sure ruin it for the others who aren't doing it. It'd be great if this dichotomy was different than this, but this is the way that it is. This is human nature plus the, the ways that our society has fallen together. But whether we're talking about kids or adults, the less of the bullying that we have out there, the less totalitarian the people who want to do something about the bullying will become. The more nasty one side gets, the more nasty the other side gets. It's kind of hard to stop the cycle. And it has been said that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Now, if you're wondering why I mentioned comedy, I'll explain. If you were bullied in public school, imagine now that every time you were bullied, you could see someone standing on the sidelines saying, well, it's just comedy. Stop making such a big deal about it. And then when a teacher or some sort of school staff came close by, they basically said, nothing to see here. They're totally innocent. It's just comedy. Sounds absurd, doesn't it? Well, it shouldn't, because that's exactly what's been happening on this platform. It's what's, been, it's what's been happening in social media. And I'm supposed to say that all of this is just fine and dandy because freedom of speech. Even though, yeah, it, it is a private platform, but capitalism just is, is only important when it's beneficial towards the people that want capitalism to be unregulated. But I'm expected to be angry that a bully is scared of being shut down. Yes, freedom of speech is important, but I'm supposed to be sad that a bully is scared? The problem here is that the bullies and their fans don't see any problem with causing other people to voluntarily shut down and censor themselves, when in actuality, that's just as bad as when a company does it to people. Yes, it's just as bad. I'll repeat. Someone feeling that very strongly that they need to self-censor out of fear of being bullied is just as bad as someone being scared of a company censoring them. Both situations stifle free speech. The right is better at bullying and shaming. Their tactics actually work really well at making people feel like shit about themselves. The people who they're directed to don't try to show it, but it really gets to them after a while, especially if it's done over and over again. The left is much better at tattletaling and using the rules against people. And if they're angry enough, and they feel violated or pissed off enough, just if they're angry enough, they'll try to ruin someone's life. But, I mean, someone can be angry enough to do some, want to do something like that on both sides, so that's not just a left thing. You know, when people are angry enough, they can do some fucked up things, just in general. People who are angry. You can't expect the left to get better at bullying and shaming. You can't expect the right to get better at banning and tattletaling. When anyone does any of these things in excess, everyone loses because both sides perpetuate each other. Just saying.